We've got a calculator on the desk here. This is a little experiment you can try very easily yourselves at home. When it's this way up and I push it, it is actually really quite hard to move. If I turn it over and push it, it moves very, very easily. And this is because of the different nature of the surfaces. The little rubber feet on the back mean that when it's this way up, it is actually very difficult to move. There is a lot of friction. But the slippery buttons, when it's this way up, give us a very small amount of friction. And this illustrates what we call the coefficient of friction, which gives us an idea of how much friction we can expect between two different surfaces. This time I've just got a, a simple textbook on the desk and um, Cara's going to help us. She's just going to push it gently with one finger and get a feel for how difficult it is to move. Okay. Now, Carrie, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply an additional force. The coefficient of friction stays the same, but because I'm pushing on the book, the normal reaction force is now much greater. Is that more difficult to move? Yep, much more difficult. If I actually do this, how easy is it to move now? Oh, I can't move it at all. As we increase the normal reaction force, the friction force increases at the same time. OK, here we've got two people who are doing a sort of a high five with a mechanics book between their hands. Now, at the moment, they're providing very little pressure on the sides. We're going to push just as gently as we can without the book dropping. And if I give a little tug on the bottom, you can see that the book drops down very easily. Now, if we go back, but this time we push really hard, then what happens is that the normal reaction forces on the book increase and we get a lot more friction. Now, with us pushing as hard as we can, if I try and pull the book down, you can see that it is almost impossible to move it out from between the two hands. So again, it's another illustration of how important it is to have the normal reaction force. 